On the surface, Tom Curran, the quintessential Californian, seems to fit this image perfectly. But Tom Curran has always tried to be more than just a stereotype. Talent and hard work made him, at 21, the youngest world champion in the history of competitive surfing. Today, as a professional, he makes more than a quarter million dollars a year. But Tom Curran has not forgotten the attraction that first lured him to this sport. Ever since I can remember, and I was always mesmerized by the, just the awesome beauty and power of the ocean. You know, I knew that I was going to have something to do with surfing. Well, I, I can sit for hours and just watch the ocean. Just to think that waves travel over thousands of miles and, and hit one spot of reef and, and then they're gone forever. It's just uh, it's fascinating and I just want to be a part of that energy. The power aspect was what really brought me to, uh, to start surfing. And uh, now that I've been surfing for 15 years, what I'm really interested in is to try to be able to control that power. You're waiting for these, these huge, massive bands of energy and power, and you're making it so that you're, you're just slipping in there right at the right moment, dropping into a wave, and a lot of times it's, it's just a split second reaction from getting a wave breaking right on your head or getting a, uh, the right of your life. Every 12 seconds a, a wave comes through and you, and you start to get into that rhythm. It's kind of a thing that gives you energy too. You feel the power of the ocean and it's, it kind of uh, fuses a, an energy in you where you, you don't feel exhausted after because it, in a way, it was the ocean giving you the energy. One way to, to realize the power of the ocean is by getting wiped out, and that's something all surfers dread. There aren't too many feelings that you can have in, in life where you just feel that panic. When you're underwater and, and you're at the mercy of, of a whole ocean. When I'm down under the water in a bad wipeout, I just let it tumble me and roll me. And when it lets me go, then I just come up. But there's really, there's nothing more humbling than to be whipped by the, the power of the ocean. I think some people will get carried away and say that surfing is a religious experience. And, and I, I think that it can be. It's a very subliminal thing. You really block out all any kind of ideas and images and, or anything. You, you just you kind of go with the flow and, and to some people that's what religion is, I guess. One thing about surfing that intrigues me is, uh, is just riding inside the tube. I've gone out some days when, I, when I've just concentrated on that and just pretty much spent the whole day inside the wave. And that's as close as you can get to that energy, to the power of the wave. 